Have you ever wondered if your dog is in pain? I'm Anya Skoda, Chief Scientist and founder of Happy Bond. And this is Fernando, our Chief Tasting Officer. Now today we want to talk about pain. Dogs has pa have pain as much as we do. It's just harder for us to communicate with them. They don't speak the language we do, but they communicate in their own way. And there are se several signs that you can detect in your dog's body language and sounds that can be observed and then you can help them. So it's important to get to know your dog and really feel comfortable with who they are. We talked in another video about arthritis and the pain that comes from joint pain, which is mainly shown in limping, stiffness of joints, change of gait, not willing to jump, not really active in, in activities. That is one sign of pain. Dogs can really change their behavior through pain. They can might get aggressive. Some dogs do that. Some others would really withdraw from activity, hide somewhere, not shown. Cats do that a lot as well. Bulldogs specifically are really tough in taking pain. So when they show they have an issue, you should take that serious. So specific breeds are more sensitive to others, just as humans. Some people have a high pain tolerance and some don't. Women have a very high pain tolerance, as you know. So um, that is one thing, the change of behavior. Then you also, some dogs will vocalize themselves. They will whine, some even growl. So it's just howling, yelping. There are, there's something going on. It doesn't always have to be joint pain. There's a lot of different types of pain a dog can suffer from. So getting to know your dog, as I just said in another video about socializing, is important for a lot of things and the behavior and the relationship you have with your dog. And you don't want your dog to be in pain. So observing him day in, day out to really know, is he his best self? Is he happy? And is he thriving? That is important. There could be changes of sleeping and eating habits. Dogs that are in severe pain won't eat. They might not be able to sleep, get up at night. Like if Fernando has an upset tummy or have pain in his tummy, which he used uh, had one time, he didn't want to sleep. He woke up four times a night and didn't know what to do. Uh, he still eats anytime. He is very much food driven, but not every dog reacts like that. So you know your dog the best way and can really observe this. Also breathing changes. They could pant, they could breathe heavily. If that's not indicated because of heat, uh, might be an indication for pain. So if you see any of those changes in your dog's behavior or movement, consult with a veterinarian. Don't try to use any medication for pain that you take yourself. Many of the pain medications for humans are toxic to dogs. So please consult with your vet. There is help for them. It doesn't always have to be just a painkiller. We need to find the reason for the pain first and they need to be examined. So talk to your vet when you see any of those behaviors, bring them in, uh, better to go one more to, uh, one time too often than, than uh, wait too long for that problem. I hope that gave you a little bit insight of how to see if your dog has pain. Fernando here is really waiting for his treat because he was so patient now. I hope you like our content and um, follow us on Instagram and YouTube and check out Happy Bond. Com. We have a lot of content on dog's health for you.